اهلا بكم مشاهدينا انا كورين فرحات ارحب بكم بعد جديد من المجله ولقاء مع ميسا قرعة المغنيه اللبنانيه الشابه في ربيع عمرها هاجرت ميسا الى بوسطن العام 2006 بعد حرب تموز في لبنان والتحقت بجامعه بيركلي ابرز المعاهد الموسيقيه في الولايات المتحده توسعت شهرتها بعد مشاركتها في الغناء باللغة العربية في الفيلم الهوليوودي American Hustle الذي رشح لعشر جوائز أوسكار وفاز بجائزة جرامي وكانت أول مرة تسجل أغنية عربية خصيصا لترافق بعض المشاهد من فيلم هوليوودي ضخم الإنتاج مايسا ومشاريعها المستقبلية في هذا الحوار نات سينجر هنا هنا مع ترانسليشن of a Bob Seger classic. Welcome, Mesa Kara. The world needs to know more about Middle Eastern music. I think that the world has a very blurry vision about it. They like it, but at the same time, they don't know it so well. So being able to deliver it and introduce it in a very subtle way to their culture that they're very familiar with from the beginning is what I'm trying to do because every song would still sound very familiar yet strangely beautiful. ثقافات متنوعة وأجواء متعددة اختبرتها في حياتها فأنتجت شخصية ميسا قرعة. نشأت ميسا في لبنان فصقل التقاء الغرب بالشرق موهبتها. هي لا تخشى أن تتخطى العوائق لتخوض أنواع مختلفة من التجارب لتطوير موسيقاها. I'm bringing my background, my educational skills of both Arabic and Western music to the table and creating an organic fusion of both. This mixture of both worlds would create this voice which I think I found now. And this is what makes me Mesa, what let every listener recognize my voice as soon as they hear it. I delved into different genres of music. I try to learn a bit of everything because I'm influenced by different styles, different artists, and I wanted to see what fits me best, what feels the best. After being ex exposed and learning so many things and listening to so many styles of music, I felt that rock makes me feel like home and at the same time Middle Eastern music because that's where I'm from that's that feels right and introducing it to the Western music is what I've been trying to do يتميز صوت ميسا بلون فريد صوت قوي يبلغ مفاتيح أو نغمات موسيقية عالية وقادر على تأدية موسيقى جديدة وطلاقة ميسا باللغتين الإنجليزية والعربية أوصلتها إلى السير على السجادة الحمراء في حفل جوائز الأوسكار Being featured in American Hustle in a movie that is as important as this one has been a great start, I think But no, I'm not afraid I'm actually very excited and I'm looking forward to this unknown journey of music the Arabic rendition of White Rabbit was an introduction to my career. To show and introduce the Arabic language through Western music. The Arabic feeling, this haunting emotion that people here haven't heard of before. I chose Mesa for her unique ability to sing in multiple languages, in particular in English and Arabic. And the project that I was looking to do required an Arabic singer, but one that could also understand Western music and be able to translate that in her vocal range and have not only the high end of her octave but the low end and be able to carry off a song such as White Rabbit which goes all the way back to Woodstock and has this element of the summer of love. If I had missed this 24-hour audition window that I had to do for Hollywood, I think I would still be on the road trying to find my voice. I don't think I would be in a different place or doing a different genre of music, but I think I would still be looking for it until I feel good about it, until I feel like this is Mesa, this is who I am, this is my music, this is where I'm from, and this is what I want to share with the rest of the world. 
بدأت رحلة ميسة التعليمية الموسيقية في كلية الموسيقى في جامعة بيركلي في بوسطن وهي المدرسة الأم لكثير من كبار الفنانين الأمريكيين During my journey at Berkeley College of Music being the only Lebanese in this school hasn't been very easy I try to introduce my culture to students whereas students or teachers or people that would come and listen to the music that we want to share with, with them It hasn't been easy because they don't have a lot of knowledge about the, the Arabic world. And I did that by learning about their culture as well. Knowing more about them, they would be curious to know more about me. And then they learned how to accept it. I had my friend students from Serbia, from Greece, from America, from Africa, sing Feiru songs with me. التبادل في الثقافة الموسيقية ساعدها على إيجاد توازن بين جذور موسيقاها العربية وخلفيتها الموسيقية الكلاسيكية. أسمعان is a singer I was really influenced by, as well as Feiruz and many others. I think that they represent the true classical music, and I grew up listening to them. And when I sing her songs on stage, I I feel like I'm trying, because I heard her so much, I feel like I wanted to kind of feel what she was feeling at that moment when she was singing all of these songs, performing on big stages. And being able to do this in the United States actually makes me even feel better because sometimes I even see Americans singing along with me. It has given me more energy and a push to sing more, deliver more, and share my passion and my roots and my heritage with the rest of the world. Growing up, I used to sing a lot of poetic songs that require a lot of feelings. And these type of songs require more of a deep voice, and it kind of grew with me. Uh, being exposed to different types of music, whereas classical, when I need my high voice uh, or Uh, rock where I need my chest voice or other types of music when I need this low deep voice made me create something that is a mixture of probably the three styles انطلقت موهبتها الغنائية الإبداعية وانتشر اسم ميسا ليصبح معروفا في الولايات المتحدة وكندا وأوروبا والشرق الأوسط صوتها المدهش شكل حضورا قويا في مناسبات دولية مثل احتفالية السلام أو الماستر بيس في أمستردام وفي احتفال الألوان أو كونسرت أوف كولرز في ميتشيغان. Music indeed is a universal language and this is why I'm here today. This is what brought me here today and has given me all of these opportunities to deliver my message. It has It has no identity, it has no religion. And performing, whether in Arabic, in Italian, in English, in French, and the many languages I performed in, has helped me show the world, show that to the world, that it's about the music, it's about the art. It's a great pleasure to be part of the Bob Seger tribute with the band of Don Was the All-Star Band. I think that Turn the Page is a wonderful song and I'm so happy to sing it differently, to sing it in my own way. Actually, this wasn't an adaptation. This was our own vision of the song and how I turn the page. Each one of us can interpret any song their own way and I think I'm ready to show how I see the song. The song was uh, written by the poet Hanin Amad, the Algerian poet Hanin Amad, as well as my manager, Don Elder. And I contributed in, you know, making it my own, how I feel it, how I think it's true to me. And I'm very excited to be the first one to do it. Turn the page is starting a new life, turning the page for any adventure that we encounter in our lives. But for me particularly, it's about turning the page in a relationship telling the person that 
it's okay now you know i forgot about all these things that happened i forgot about our differences i guess you and i have a lot of differences you and i have tried but at the end of the day we need to turn the page move on and here i am on the road again i am here on the stage and i'm turning the page I hope that in my journey of music, I would open a road and start a road and have my voice joined by other voices. And that all of us together can probably change this image and make it a better world. Have the Arabic music be more listened to. Yeah.